Dear students, now we are going to discuss Sonnet SDH in detail. In this lecture video, we are going to cover the basics of Sonnet SDH, transmission formats and speeds, frame structure, Sonnet layers and optical interfaces. The synchronous optical network is the evolution of digital time division multiplexing scheme with the advancement in the fiber optic transmission link. Okay. So here it allows different types of signals to be transmitted over the fiber optic cable. It can be done synchronously. Okay. So here SONET is the acronym for Synchronous Optical Network in North America. It was developed by ANSI TI 105.06. Okay. SDH is the acronym for Synchronous Digital Hierarchy in other parts of the world. So it was developed by ITUT G.57. These two are the Synchronous Optical Network Systems. Okay. So here we can define the sonnet as a Synchronous Frame Structure for Transmitting TDM that is Time Division Multiplexed Signals in the Optical Network. It is a high speed network which encodes bit streams into optical signals. Okay. So it is a high speed network which encodes bit streams in digital format into the optical signals. Here we can use two types of transmission formats. One is synchronous transport signals that is STS for SONET and synchronous transport module that is STM for SDH. Next, synchronous transport signals. So in SONET, this STS defines a hierarchy of signaling levels. Here each level supports certain bit rates in megabits per second. The physical layers which are mainly used to carry this STS are called as optical carriers. This optical carriers describe the conceptual and physical specifications of STS. Okay. So in SONET, STS is used. In SDH, synchronous transport module that is STM is used to represent a hierarchy of signaling levels. Here this STM first level that is STM1 is equivalent to STS3. So here first level is equivalent to third level of SONET system. This is the comparison of transmission rates in SONET and SDH. For the physical layer that is OC1, the SONET level is STS1. Its rate is 51.84 megabits per second. For this optical carrier 1, there is no SDH level. Okay. So for this optical carrier 3, the SONET level is STS3. Its line rate is 155.52 megabits per second. So here the SDH level is 1. So here STS3 is equivalent to STM1. Similarly, we can get the optical carrier 12th layer. This STS value is 12. Here the rate is 622 megabits per second. The STM level is 4. The bit rate of STS1 level that is the fundamental level is 51.84 megabits per second. The bit rate of STS1 level is 51.84 megabits per second. So here this is the line rate for this STS1 level that is fundamental level in SONET layer. In case of N level we can get that STS N value as N into 51.84 megabits per second. So similarly we can get the higher rates of this STM in SDHS. STM M where M is nothing but 1, 4, 16 and 64. Next the basic structure of SONET system. In this STS multiplexer is used to multiplex the signals from various multiple sources into a single Synchronous transport signal. In the other end, STS demultiplexer is used to demultiplex the STS signal into different destination signal. 
Regenerators are mainly used to strengthen the optical signal that is to boost up the optical signal. Airdrop multiplexer it is an important component in this sonnet system. It can add the signal from various sources into a given path as well as drop the desired signal and redirect it to this destination without demultiplexing the entire path. Here section it is a link which connects adjacent network equipments like regenerators. Okay. So max to regenerator, regenerator to airdrop multiplexer like this. Line is the link which connects two sonnet devices. For example, STS multiplexer to airdrop multiplexer, airdrop multiplexer to STS demultiplexer. Path is the end to end connection. Okay. So that's what given here. STS max, D max, here it is mainly used to multiplex the signals from multiple sources into a single STS signal. At the receiver side, demultiplexer is used to demultiplex the STS signal into different destination signals. Regenerator is a device that boosts up the power of optical signal. Airdrop multiplexer, it is mainly used to add the signals as well as to drop the signal in the given path okay next sonnet frame structure it consists of 90 columns by 9 rows of bytes so here it consists of 90 columns and 9 rows okay so in this the first three columns comprise the transport overhead bytes which include section overhead and line overhead the remaining 87 columns together as synchronous payload envelope simply SPE. So this SPE carries the user data to be transmitted along with the 9 bit path overhead. Okay. So this is the frame structure of Sonnet. Transport overhead. This three columns comprise section overhead and line overhead. Section connects adjacent network elements like regenerators. Line connects two sonnet devices. Here LOH that is line overhead is mainly used for communication between STS signals. Okay. So next SPE that is synchronous payload envelope. The remaining 87 columns together as SPE. It carries the user data and also the Path overhead. Path overhead. A path is a complete end-to-end -end connection. POH. That is path overhead is a 9 byte data in a single column which can be located anywhere in synchronous payload envelope in the sonnet frame. It mainly supports the performance monitoring by the end equipment, signal labeling and user channel. Next, we are going to calculate the transmission bit rate of SONET for the basic level that is fundamental SONET level STS1. For that, we can consider 90 columns, 9 rows, 8 bits per byte and here it takes 125 microseconds per frame. Then we can get the STS1 transmission rate as 51.84 megabits per second. Okay. So in case of N level, we can get STS N is equal to N into 51.84 megabits per second. Do you all understand this concept? So next we are going to discuss SDH frame structure. It is similar to SONET frame, but it consists of 270 columns, 9 rows. The first nine columns comprise the transport overhead which includes section overhead and line overhead. The remaining 261 columns together as SPE. Correct? So in this one column is for path overhead. Next, the transmission bit rate of STH1 level that is the fundamental level that is equal to 270 bytes per row, 9 rows per frame, 8 bits per byte and 125 microseconds per frame. 
then we can get STEM one level is equal to 155.52 megabits per second that is equal to STS 3 level. Next optical interfaces in Sonet SDH network. In order to ensure the interconnection compatibility between the equipments, the Sonet SDH should provide the details of optical source characteristics, the receiver sensitivity and distances for various types of fibers. So we need to consider these parameters for this optical interfaces. There are three categories of fiber optics in the Sonet system. Graded index multimode fiber in the window 1310 nanometer wavelength that is O band. So the next one is conventional non dispersion shifted single mode fiber. It is in the range 1310 nanometer and 1550 nanometer. That means it can be operated in the range of O band and C band window. So the third one is dispersion shifted single mode fiber. So here the window range is 1550 nanometer that is C band. So these three categories of optical fibers are used in this Sonet SDH. Okay. So next optical sources. So here we can select the optical sources based on the attenuation and dispersion characteristics. So we can prefer light emitting diodes that is LED, multi-mode laser, single mode laser. Then the receiver sensitivities. So here we can consider the minimum acceptable average received power, rise and fall times, then optical return loss for interfacing the optical with Sonet network. Okay. Then the transmission distance here, the longer transmission distances require higher power lasers. Next, transmission ranges for Sonet and SDH with attenuation. If the transmission distance is less than or equal to 2 km, the Sonet terminology is short reach, SDH terminology is intra office, there is no attenuation. If it is 15 km, here it is intermediate reach in SDH short haul, here it is 3.5 dB per km. In case of 40 km at 1310 nanometer, 80 km at 1550 nanometer. In Sonet, it is the long range. In SDH, it is long haul. Here it is 0.8 and 0.5 attenuation. If it is 120 km at 1550 nanometer, that is C band, there is no terminology for this Sonet. But here SDH, it is very long haul, okay? So here it is 0.3. If it is 160 kilometer at C band, it is called as ultra long haul, okay? Finally, the applications of Sonet SDH. It is the basic architecture for BISDN and ATM. It provides very high speed transmission of voice and data signals using fiber optic networks. So it is widely used in telecommunication system, mainly for high speed data transmission. Okay.